Currently one of the most terrifying crews in One Piece, the Blackbeard Pirates have been absolutely destroying everything right now. I am rock hard displaying some of the most unique devil fruits in all of One Piece. Well in this video I'll be ranking every single new Blackbeard Pirate devil fruit since the new world. And let me be clear, the top trees are some of the most broken abilities in all of One Piece. Starting off at the bottom of this list is probably mine and a lot of yours favorite Blackbeard Pirate, and it's Shiryu of the Rain and his Suke Suke no Mi. Bro, why give this fruit to someone as badass as Shiryu? This is easily the devil fruit we've seen the most in this list, and that does not help because it belonged to Absalom of all people, whose fruit definitely didn't help him from getting destroyed by a pre times skill Sanji. Okay, I'm not being exactly fair, because obviously Shiryu is leagues above anything Absalom will ever be, but really, unless we start stretching, this fruit feels kind of useless. All it does is allow Shiryu to make himself and his sword invisible. Really? That's it for one of Roronora Zoro's final opponents. Now the obvious weakness of this fruit should be apparent to literally everyone, it's absolutely useless against any observation hockey user. Now it's possible Oda might pull some shit where, oh shit, it like hides his presence, uh, he can't be seen by observation hockey, like his spirit is invisible or something. That seems like a huge stretch to assume. If that is the case though, Shiyu holds an incredibly broken devil fruit, especially if he was able to awaken it and make like everything around him invisible, that'd be really trippy and cool. It'd be something along the lines of like Tosin's Bankai and Bleach. But then again, how the fuck is he supposed to awaken it anyway? Cause he just got the fruit, so uh... Shiryu does seem confident in the ability though, so maybe. I really don't know, this fruit was such an odd pick for a character as important as Shiryu, and I feel like there could have been such better picks, from Sabo's fruit, to Marco's fruit, to Anel's fruit, to even Moria's fruit. But we got the dumbass fucking fruit of Absalom. I hope we get a little something more of this guy, maybe a second devil fruit, but as of right now, I can't put this fruit higher than the number 6 position. Now let's talk about some fruits that are actually hella fucking strong, starting with Stronger and his Pegasus fruit. Now I'ma be real, I totally didn't expect this donkey to get a super broken devil fruit or even a fruit at all but now that I see it, I'm really down for it and it looks really badass. Now, should a fruit of this mythical caliber been given to a character like I don't know, Shiryu of the goddamn rain? Yeah, probably, instead of the fucking Suke Suke no me, but you know, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, I'm okay, I'm okay. Now that we got it, let's talk about Stronger the Pegasus. As of now, all we can know is that Stronger can fly, and pretty damn well, considering he held the weight of both Doc Q and Blackbeard at the same time. We can assume there's a basic stat boost, as pretty much any Zoan Devil Fruit has. Being a mythical Zoan means it has disgusting potential as well, which is incredibly interesting, as assuming Stronger joins Doc Q in his fight against who I assume to be Chopper, the reindeer is gonna that have incredible trouble fighting against two overwhelmingly powerful devil fruits. So I looked up some of the abilities Pegasus traditionally have, and besides obviously flight, they have the ability to pass through mortal and immortal realms, whatever that really means. If I had to guess it means you can travel to the realms of the gods, which if Stronger can do some shit like that, that would be kind of fucking insane. We'd see like him go see Anel for example, I uh, got him. But yeah, this could be interpreted in really interesting ways, maybe you could have like a pocket dimension or something similar to like the Kamui from Naruto, or even Blue Luna's door devil fruit, but as of right now we can just assume Stronger gets really damn strong with a really good flight. But let's be real, it'll be really hard to tell what this fruit is capable of until we see the chopper fight. What I can say is, considering the role Stronger has in the story, I doubt it will be a huge asset to the Blackbeard Pirates, so based on narrative alone, I'm okay with this fruit being on the lower end of the list. Once again, this fruit could be 100% higher, but number 4 goes to Katarina Devon and her Ino Ino no Mi Model 9 Tails. This fruit's just really weird. We pretty much know it has to be super powerful because, one, it's obviously a mythical Zoan. Two, it belongs to Katarina Devon, one of the most dangerous and powerful women of all time in One Piece. And three, Katarina Devon will most likely be the final opponent of Robin, a character who in my opinion is in the upper echelon of strength in terms of the Straw Hats. The potential is definitely there, but as of right now, the only ability we've seen is her being able to copy other people, as Devon did to Absalom, similar to Mr. Two's ability. Now there's definitely questions to be had about this ability. Can she copy others' abilities? Can she copy memories? Does she need to come into contact with people in order to copy them, just like Mr. Two? And can she do crazy shit like copy the abilities of dead people? Imagine if she could just transform into Big Mom and use the Soul Fruit, like holy fuck that would be really awesome. Would be awesome to see an Awakening too. maybe that's how she'd be able to copy dead people? I mean she could also maybe copy like the Ohara people to fuck with Robin, but honestly that's kind of already happened with Black Maria so we don't really need to see it again. But even with just the things I speculated prior, this fruit could be amazing and I'm excited to see more from it in the future. If you've already noticed, 
The top three are solely original Blackbeard Pirate members, and I do think they got huge special treatment, starting with the crew Sniper, Van Auger the Supersonic, and his Wapu Wapu Nomi. Okay, this fruit is absolutely insane. I recently just put a poll up, and you guys listed it as the most powerful new Blackbeard double fruit, and that is obviously fair, as with it, Van Auger can warp himself and others significantly far distances. I feel like I hardly need to tell you why this is insane. He warp Burgess insane distances away from a ship off land to an island right behind the heart pirates so it seems to have pretty great precision and pretty fucking amazing distance amazing for a sniper and speaking of that what i want to really talk about is one this fruit's insane potential and two why it's such a good fit for someone like van auger so there's a couple questions in regards to this fruit that either make it really good or incredibly broken big one is can van auger warp non-human objects and if so does he need to come into contact with the non-human objects to warp them this is super crazy, as he could hypothetically warp like poisons and boulders into people, which could be absolutely crazy. What I really want to talk about is how, as a sniper, if he was able to like warp his bullets to come from different directions, and then he shoots from other directions, and he's like essentially like doing some hidden Lotus Rock Lee shit fucking with his gun. And, uh, dude, some crazy shit could happen. I'd be so excited for it, to be honest. Yeah, if those things exist, this fruit is absolutely broken and debatably the best on this list. I'm sure many people aren't surprised it's making the upper half, and to be honest, there's a lot of shit I could say about this fruit that makes it broken like what even could this awakening be so yeah i'm definitely okay with van auger at least being the number three position could easily be higher now i would classify the next two fruits on this list to be limitless starting with easily the most showcased and prominent member of the blackbeard pirates besides obviously blackbeard himself and that's jesus burgess and his strong strong fruit what strong strong fruit we've never seen anything like this in the series obviously i've heard a lot of complaints about this devil fruit saying it's too simple however yeah i'm not gonna lie I this fruit opens up so many possibilities and is easily one of the most intriguing fruits in all of One Piece. I think what really interests me is its complete simplicity and the uniqueness it has in the story. We've never seen anything in the series that just boosts a baseline stat. Usually we have abilities that in turn do that, like the Pika Pika Nomi. With something like the Strong Strong Fruit, the potential is limitless. There's no like cap. You're not as strong as a Rhino or as strong as a Horse or as strong as whatever, right? Or as strong as Magma. You're just strong. That seems limitless, no? And then there's more questions that can be opened up to me, right? Could he boost individual parts of his body? Could he like have infinite levels of speed by boosting his legs? Because the word stronger is very, very broad. You could have stronger eyesight, stronger legs. Oh, stronger bone density to make him even more durable. Could make him like fucking like similar to how Sanji has the uh, Vinsmoke durability, right? There's so many things. It's really up to Oda's imagination with this one. I don't even want to think about what the awakening could be, like making immaterial objects stronger, or could it be something like Bella Betty where she makes other people stronger? Could be insane. Bro, I, oh my God. I'm serious, this is so interesting to me. Seriously, the potential is all up to Oda's creativity, but I generally think there's so much you can do with this fruit. Burgess getting a fruit like this is really making me start to support the idea of Sanji versus Burgess being one of the main battles for Sanji in the future. Cause man, I generally think the potential of this is near endless. Now, to end this off, I'm not saying Burgess wouldn't beat Kaido in an arm wrestling competition, but I'm not not saying that, you know what I'm saying? Now, number one may be a surprise to some people, but to me, it's easily one of the most broken devil fruits in all of One Piece, and again, it feels limitless, and that's Dot Q and his disease fruit. So you may be questioning, Alan, how is this fruit powerful? <laughs> <laughs> so a couple things. Any disease in the world can immediately be inflicted on an opponent. This doesn't seem to take a lot out of Dog Q, so you could probably just spam diseases on opponents, and probably could stack them on opponents too. I don't think there was any time where Dog Q could have contacted Law, and he still applied his disease to Law. And you want to know the most broken shit about this fruit? It gave Law a disease that doesn't fucking exist. So what does this mean? Essentially, whatever Oda wants, he can give to Dog Q. And I mean anything. You could turn a disease where it turns people into children, like Bonnie, turns people into toys, like sugar. You could do anything you want. You turn people into fire. If he can turn someone into a woman, a disease that doesn't exist in the real world, can't he just do any disease possible? Like, he could do anything. It's up to Oda's imagination, just like with Burgess. Bro, maybe I'm being hyperbolic, but Doc Q essentially feels like the medical version of Grimmy Thamo from Bleach. Now, it's not exactly the same as this fruit can be countered with hockey, but I'm pretty sure a lot of fruits can at this point. But hey, also, Law ain't no slouch with hockey in my opinion. And Chopper, who I'd consider to be Doc Q's final opponent, doesn't have hockey at all right now. 
This is obviously an awesome matchup for Chopper, someone who is on the quest to learn a cure of every disease, and honestly makes me super hyped for this fight. There's really so much to say about this fruit, like could he disease allies and make them stronger or some shit cause just disease and name? So many things. That's pretty much it. Doc Q is disgusting, his fruit's disgusting, the Blackbeard Pirates are insanely disgusting. Like, subscribe, comment, all those shenanigans. And yeah, check this video out where I'm talking about two characters that have fought the Blackbeard Pirates. Peace! I am rock hard.